guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. There is just a million new units on Global and JP right now. There's just stuff going on. Tanabata celebration uh, for Global, and then there's just a million easy days over here in JP. Uh, today, I want to cover this guy, Future Android 17. Um, this Future Android 17 is actually, I think, a pretty solid option. Um, on some of these, you know, kind of, I guess, honestly, I'd say kind of lower level category teams that he's on, like, you know, Future and Android and Android slash Cell Saga. Um, if you pair him with the matching Future Android 18, this guy is actually, I think, pretty damn good. Um, but I, I think, I think that's kind of a prerequisite is you do want to match and pair him, um, with, of course, that Future Android 18 unit to really, uh, sort of like optimize, um, like the two of them together, right? Uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at this guy at full level of 10 links. I think uh, we'll look at him on a team without future Android 18, and then we'll also look at him on a team with uh, future Android 18. All right, guys, so we're starting out here at an event. Uh, we're starting with the Android category team, uh, a team that definitely needs a lot of work. Uh, they did just recently get four EZA units, right? Uh, so we got an EZA for uh, future 17, future 18. These two got EZAs. And we also got EZAs for the... Actually, these four units in a row right here, all EZA. Um, I think the future Androids are, are pretty solid. 13 and 14 and 15 are good as well, although I think they could have been made a bit better. But those two specifically could be really good if we got, like, a really crazy um, Fusion Android 13 at some point. I think it would be pretty interesting. Um, but, like, I... The thing that's a bit of a bummer is... I feel like these types of EZAs, like how good like 13 and Future 17 and stuff like that is fine. When you're talking about like a, like a, the pure Saiyan team or Goku family or something like that. I just, I want even more because like this is, you know, we're not going to get a flood of Dokkan Fest Android units. But we're going to be getting a million Goku and Gohan Dokkan Fest, right? So I really wish they would prioritize making like this EZA ridiculous and not like Yardrat Goku who dies because he's on all the, like, he's incredible, but he's on all these teams where he's not really needed so much, right? Um, all right, so we can get a little bit of, what, what links would he activate there? It's just a nightmare with uh, second form cell, but I want to make sure that 17 uh, gets his hits in first. We haven't linked up with Android 18. 17's links are Organic Upgrade, Android Assault, Twin Tears, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Dismal Future, and Shattering the Limits. Those are future Android 17's um, links right there. Uh, he gets 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets an additional 17% attack for each key sphere obtained. Uh, and then he gets an additional 70% attack and defense and a medium chance to crit uh, with an Android 18 attacking in the same turn. Uh, he also launches a guaranteed additional super if there's a hybrid Saiyan or an Earthling category enemy, right? So... The thing about him and Future 18, they're basically built exactly the same, right? Uh, but both of them are stacking defense and greatly stacking attack. So that's where they can really come in to, I think, be pretty solid um, in sort of the right situations, right? Because what you can do is you could, you know, go into, I don't know, the Legendary Vegeta event. Um, and then if you have Future 17 and 18 on a rotation together, they're activating six out of seven links, greatly stacking attack and stacking defense. And... I think that as a rotation can definitely carry you um, through the legendary Vegeta event. So the fact that we do have sort of like a free to play duo that's capable of doing that, I do think is pretty good. Um, again, I, I would I, I would like greedily, selfishly want them to be a bit better, but I, I mean at the very least, they definitely would be competent options in long events for really any of the four major teams that the two of them share. Future Saga, Android, Sibling Bond, and Android Sass Cell Saga. All right, so this is a pretty good rotation right here. Um, Future 17, it's up to 140k defense. Okay, doing all that. Uh, let's try and get him as many orbs as possible here. So we can get him six orbs. Yeah, we'll get him six orbs right there. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how much damage Future 17 will do on this rotation. After this turn, I think we'll go ahead and head over to... Uh, I'll pro we'll probably do the Sibling Bond team. We'll, we'll go to the Sibling Bond team, maybe make use out of Tapian and Minosha. We'll pair Future 17 along with Future 18. Um, I'll go ahead and let the two of them just, like, you know, really stack up their super attacks for a while. 
um, and see how powerful they can be after, you know, they've done uh, a bunch of, you know, greatly stacking attack and then stacking defense. So, all right, um, this this was a little look at what 17 is capable of doing. So that, like, really his defense wasn't really that crazy without future Android 18 around. I mean, we did have a lot of his links activated, right? Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at him over on that sibling Bond team uh, next to uh, future Android 18. All right, we actually got one more turn here that we can test out our boy Future 17. Uh, we have a lot of support. I mean, damn, what, dude, we're getting so much support on this rotation. Uh, and these are still what his stats are. Again, you know, Future 17, Future 18 combined for long events is probably what you're going to want to do, right? Uh, not really so much, I would say, uh, like, you know, Super Battle Road, Dokkan events, stuff like that. Um, just long events. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not really upset. I guess the more I think about it, the more I really do like Future 17 and 18 because they do have a very obvious purpose, which is to be really good in long events, right? At the very least, they do have that. And again, I think they are going to perform incredibly well. I think even Future Android 18, who is STR, probably would be able to tank double digits against Evolution Blue Vegeta's final flash, which not a lot of units could do. All right, so we're over here on the Sibling Bond team. Um, over here, we're going up against an Earthling and a Hybrid Saiyan, so we could see our boy Future 17 um, getting the guaranteed additional supers. We're going to go ahead and let him build up for a little bit. Uh, 99k defense he's only at. Damn, that's... I mean, he he does start these uh, these events off kind of low. He Again, he really needs Future um, 18 around to really help him out, right? So there's our double super. Next turn, we will have uh, Future 18 on rotation with him. Damn it, Gohan supered him, which he, he lowered his defense. So we're not going to get an accurate uh, representation of what 17's defense actually is next turn. I hate that because even if I would use, like, let's say I use a Dende item next turn, right, to remove that defensive debuff from 17. If I used it, it would remove the debuff. The debuff would be gone, but it wouldn't visually show that to us with his defensive stat. It would still be shown as lowered. So now uh, we're going to, no matter what, we're going to see this lower defensive stat on the CERN, even if it's not actually uh, low like that. That's one thing that can be very annoying about uh, enemies that can uh, debuff your defense, right? Uh, having to deal with that. Um, all right, so I want to get, we're going to get this next turn. Um, with future uh, 17 um, and then we are going to move on so here we have future 17 link with future 18 um, jumping way up again his defense is debuffed so it'd be even higher than this so it's like once you get all these links these are like some of these links are pretty powerful right they're like they're strong effects right android assault two key 20 percent defense um, organic upgrade the first link two key five percent attack five percent defense five percent chance to crit Right, Twin Terrors, 2 key, 5% attack, 5% defense, 5% chance to dodge. So, when you're able to get, like, all these links together with them, you're really able to build up uh, quite a bit of power. So, alright, we'll go ahead and let um, this turn play out with the two future androids. Um, and then I'll skip ahead, you know, maybe 10 turns or so. And uh, we'll see, you know, 17 greatly stacking his attack and stacking his defense, see what he's able to do. You know, once we get to, again, like, like turn 10, turn 12, something like that. Um, I do think that, again, running this as a rotation, you should very easily be able to tank pretty well in even the Legendary Vegeta event once you get to the end of it, right? And even though that Vegeta is, you know, maybe the most devastating boss in the game with his final flash, which cuts your defense by 80%, I think Future 18, her defense will be high enough by the time you get there that y you should be good to go, really. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pop uh, the delicious active skills by LR, Tapion, and Minosha here. Um, give a nice little two-turn buff and then see what our future androids are cooking for us um, on this next rotation. Oh. Not 
伝説の剣と笛で守ってみせる So this gives a massive two-turn buff uh, to our LR androids. Um, I can try, or not the LR androids, but the uh, free-to-play 17 and 18 here. Um, again, he does get stronger with the more orbs we're able to get, which is good. Looks like we're going to be able to get a big fat amount of uh, key orbs right here. Again, for our boy Future, uh, Future 17. We'll see what attack stats he's cooking up. Uh, we'll see what uh, defensive numbers he's able to get to again after he is stacked up for quite a while. Um, oh, the LR androids are at 5 million right there. Remember, uh, like stacking up double LR Tapion active skills is ridiculous. Not very practical, but it's very ridiculous. Oh, okay, we're up to 600k defense. It's pretty good. Um, we're going to get a lot of orbs right here. Eight. So we should see some pretty good damage numbers. Um, we'll do that right there, and then I'll just go ahead and hit this. We'll hit the Dokkan kind of attack, sure. All right, so let's see what Future 17 gets up to. So what does he get? A 3.36 million attack set. Is that what it's going to be? No, 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 my bad. 5.79. Okay, 17. Not bad. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's basically what uh, you're able to get um, before, uh, like, you know, the Future uh, 17 and 18, right? You're able to jump in these events. Uh, they'll stack up and really build up power uh, good for long events. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, right? With the way that the uh, the androids are built, where they have infinite energy and stuff like that. Like, that does sort of make sense. Um, I guess let, let, let's do one more turn, um, and let's see what stats they get now just without um, the LR Tapia and a Minosha active skill. I feel like that's also uh, like sort of an important thing to look at, right? It's like, again, it, it's, it's cool to see... Like, what they're capable of doing with the active skill. But we want to see what they're going to do without the active skill as well. Because, again, uh, two active skills by LR Tapion. Like, that is a massive, massive buff. It's not, like, some small little thing. Anytime you get, like, these crazy active skill buffs, it's always a really big deal. It's like the thing with, like, LR God Goku and Hit. Where it's just uh, such a gigantic buff. Them getting, um, you know, even that 13% permanent active skill buff they get like you know i've seen that give them like 50k defense like it's just a huge number that you're able to get so all right we'll go ahead and make this last turn right here uh with our boy future android 17 so we'll move on to the final phase of adele remember adele is still an earthling so we're gonna be double supering we're also gonna get 40 percent support right here all right 17 is still up 400k defense notice how much of a difference the tapion active skills though did though right all of the additional <laughs> attack and stuff like that he got. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so go ahead and give us a solid uh, attack stat 17. 3.97. Remember, it could go way higher depending upon how many key orbs we're getting and stuff like that, right? So uh, there is the future androids. Future android 17, future android 18. Uh, they definitely can be pretty solid. If you're going to run them at all, you really should run them together. Should be for a long event. And I think them as a rotation, they'll be very solid. They should be able to, you know, pave the way for a W, you know, with teams like Android, um, you know, Sibling Bond, stuff like that. All right. So this is Lethal Android. Android 17 future. Uh, his leader skill is Android category key 3 and 77% of stats or tech type key 3 and 50% of stats. His super attack is the Power Blitz, which greatly stacks attack, stacks defense, and does supreme damage to the enemy. Uh, his passive skill, Our Pleasure, gives 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Uh, then he gets an additional 17% attack for each key sphere obtained. Then he gets an additional 70% attack and defense, and then a medium chance, a 30% chance of doing a crit. If your team has a uh, future Android 18 attacking in the same turn, then he launches a guaranteed additional super if there's a hybrid Saiyan or an Earthling category enemy. His links are Organic Upgrade, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Dismal Future, and Shattering the Limit. His 12 key multiplier is 135%. <clears throat> I guess that's a bit lower than usual, huh? Um, in terms of easy A's... There's no easy A's where Future 17 is going to be able to help you on. Yeah, there's not any. Um, and then finally, our boy is on a few different category teams here. So 
So on the future team, future's actually gotten a lot of buffs recently. A lot of new units have come there. Uh, he is also over here on the Android category team, which, again, needs a lot of help as well. Uh, he's here on the Sibling Bond team, uh, which has gotten a lot of new units this year also. Uh, and then finally, he's on the Android slash Cell Saga team. So the one good thing about this EZA Future 17 is that all these teams he's on definitely need the buff. So that's good. So let me know what you guys think of Future Android 17. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.